Welcome to the Playbook for Amazon podcast. I'm your host, Jeff Lieber, and the goal of this podcast is to share what's working today that's helping my company, Turnkey Product Management, sell over eight figures per year on Amazon for our clients. We will share with you the actionable steps, systems, and playbook that you can plug into your business to boost your sales on Amazon. Let's go. How many times as a shopper have you been on Amazon, went to someone's product page, and you went to the bullet points section, and it only listed the size, color, and material of a product, something along those lines. Like there's no sales copy, there's no nothing that draws you in, nothing that compels you. And we see this over and over again, and sometimes this can really get overlooked. So we're talking about bullet points, we're talking about even the title, we're talking about the enhanced brand content, A plus content, you know, anywhere where you can put a sales message and try to communicate to the customer. That's what we're going to talk about today. And let's dive in. The thing that makes sales copy great is that the content appeals to what the customer wants to know about the product. Who needs your product? What problem does it solve? If you have a yoga mat, why is it better or different than any other mat? Those are the kinds of answers that customers are looking for, especially above the fold. So if you don't know, above the fold means the section of the screen, whether it's on your phone or on a computer or a tablet, it's the section when you pull up your product page, what shows up before they have to scroll at all. So that above the fold is so important and that's where you should spend the majority of your time making sure that it's as strong as possible because oftentimes a customer will make a decision just by that above the fold. They won't even scroll at all. Maybe they've opened four different products. That's what I do when I shop. I'll open like four or five different products that I'm evaluating and comparing and my goal is to choose one as quickly as possible. And I'll just scroll through each one and I will scroll to the tab of each one really quickly and I'll go compare all four and right then and there I'm like oh that's a crappy looking page I don't even know what you know what this product is like it doesn't say anything and if it looks unprofessional or bad I'll just skip it and go on to the next one and so that's why optimizing the top part of the page is the most critical the bottom is still you know really important too the below the fold because a lot of customers will go dive into that but Uh, All of it is really, really important. How do you know what to write in your sales copy, in your bullet points, on your product page? Here are some places to look for inspiration. First, I would definitely recommend that you check out your competitors' product pages and your competitors' reviews. You really want to look for what do people love or hate about your competitors' products and try to pick out some things where like, oh, wow. That they're saying that the battery life on the competitor's product you know, is just is too short. It dies too quickly. We have a super strong battery, right? And so our batteries last 12 hours. So if that's the case, then you should probably consider making that one of your primary bullet points or one of your primary uh, sections that you really want to focus on. So what, what makes your product superior to your competitors? And then also really look for what are the pain points that the customers have. So you can find that in your competitors' reviews. Also look at your own reviews as well. You want to understand what people love or hate about your own products if you have reviews. Another great place to look is the customer questions and answers section on Amazon. Uh, oftentimes you'll get tons of questions on there and like that's, that's where you can really learn a lot and a lot of people overlook that section, both on, again, your own products and on your competitors' products. So those people are, are asking those questions because there's not enough information on your current page that they felt, well, I'm, I'm uninformed. I don't know enough to buy this product right now. So I need to ask a question, you know, and, and wait for an answer. And, you know, by that time, you've probably lost a sale. And if, you know, sometimes you get on those product pages, you know, if you have like 50 or 100 customer questions, uh, you know, that, that can be a really, really bad sign that you have a really weak listing like you should make sure that whatever those customer questions are make sure you try to incorporate those answers to address those in your sales copy and in your images as well uh, so that people don't have to take the time to ask questions right so that's a really really great place 
Next, common sense, actually talk to your customers, actually ask them, you know, send them an email, you know, ask them, send them a survey, ask what they love about your product, Uh, ask if there's anything else you could change about your product, right? Really listen to your customer feedback. Um, And when you when you do that, even if you only talk to two customers or five customers, you know, the more the better, but just just try to get at least some customer feedback and, you know, take that and then incorporate that into your sales copy, ask them, why did you buy from us? And then be like, oh, that's why you buy because of X, Y, Z reason. Perfect. So let's put that and make sure we future that in our sales copy. Always make sure to communicate the benefits and the end results that you're going to give the customer when they use your product, right? The customers want peace of mind. So if someone knows that your retinol cream will rid them of their wrinkles and make them feel 29 again, then you're going to have a fan for life. And so really draw into that emotion and those pain points that they're trying to solve. Also, do you have any type of guarantee or warranty that will give customers, again, peace of mind? I would highly, highly recommend this. It seems basic, but oftentimes we, we, you know, we talk with a lot of companies that, that approach us and when we look at their pages, maybe they have 20 SKUs, 20 products. On three of the products, they have like a super strong guarantee or warranty, but then on the other products or variations, they'll forget to to put them, you know, in the bullet points or all over their listing. And, you know, those very easy, basic things can sometimes fall, you know, out of your listing by accident, can be overlooked. And so that's definitely something to check for. And I would highly, highly recommend that if you don't have one, come up with one. It doesn't even need to be like a lifetime free replacement warranty, you know, uh, you can do that if you feel really confident in your product, but it doesn't need to be super crazy where you're going to like lose money on it. And so do it with whatever you're comfortable with, but any sort of guarantee or warranty is going to be better than no guarantee or warranty. All right. So after really making a list of bullets, you know, or however you've done it with everything that we've talked about, you should have a good list of bullets and, and just as much as you can and ideas of what you'd want to include in the sales copy, like get it all in one place, a Google document, a Word document, doesn't matter. Now let's let's really you know make this into a beautiful, cohesive sales copy and try to you know keep it both as it, it should only be as long as it needs to be, right? Like you want to try to concisely cover everything that you want to cover. And another important point is you want to kind of put it in order of importance, right? So the things that are like the most important, like your biggest differentiator for your product and your satisfaction guarantee or warranty, you know, those should definitely be near the top of your pages, right? It should be your top bullet points most likely. And you should probably make sure those things are featured in your images and an infographic or somewhere. And then put the, you know, the less important ones more near the bottom, but those are still, you know, important to, to, to convey. And so that's what I'd recommend. And another tip is once you've, you know, made a draft of it, I would definitely recommend that you have someone else proofread it. And it doesn't necessarily need to be anyone at your company. I would actually recommend you may want like a, a friend or, you know, a family member, someone that you trust that, that you know that if you ask them and you and, and make sure you tell them clearly, like, hey, I want your brutally honest feedback on this. Like if you read this and, and uh, you know, go through my page, if you have any questions or concerns or you're confused, like make sure you tell me, like, I don't know what the heck you're talking about here, or this sounds really corny, or I don't believe you when you say this, or, you know, you really want that honest feedback. So it's good to go to, you know, one or two you know, trusted people that you know that they'll 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 be brutally honest with you. And then after that, uh, you know, you can run it by a team member or two, or you can run it by us. You know, we we can do that if you're a client of ours. And once we do that, then now it's time to go test it in the real world. Put it up on Amazon. You know, and it's important to to test. You know, how does how did it work? What's your conversion rate? You know, before and after the changes. I hope that this will be helpful for you guys because honestly, sales copy can just I mean, it's an, it's an art form. I mean, it's something that not everyone is a world-class copywriter. And that's another thing I'll say too, is if you're not like super, you know, experienced or comfortable with this, like it doesn't need to be you, you know, necessarily writing the sales copy. Like you can hire someone or hopefully someone on your team is a really, really great, you know, copywriter or enjoys writing sales copy. 
uh, or, you know, or you can go hire like a contractor out there. There's, there's a lot of copywriters out there. Uh, we have professional copywriters uh, at Turnkey as well. And so, you know, we'll, we'll help write sales copy for our clients as well. So there's a lot of people that can do it out there. And the important part is that it needs to get done at a high level. It needs to stand out from your competitors. So hopefully all of this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for listening and let us know how it goes. Thank you so much for listening to that episode. So to recap, whether you're creating a brand new listing or your sales copy has been the same for three years and you haven't touched it, it's time to pay attention to your listing and your sales copy and give it the time and attention that it needs. Sometimes a fresh perspective can really be the secret to unlocking new sales growth. So get out there and take action. Also, I wanted to mention at Turnkey, we offer a product listing audit. That's one of our uh, services that we'll offer where we'll actually go over your listing with a fine tooth comb. You send it to us and we'll, we'll give you our brutal, honest feedback. We'll tell you the exact changes that we would suggest in order to create a more compelling listing. And there's even options where if you wanted us to write it for you, we can do that as well. And so if you're interested in that, we'd be happy to take a look. We look, <laughs> look at them every, every single day. So you can head over to turnkeyproductmanagement.com and the best way is just to click the application or apply now button. And when you fill it out, just mention that you heard about us on the podcast. And then we'll, you know, we'll hop on a quick call and, and take a look at your listing to, to let you know like what you'd be the best fit for. And if, if a listing audit would make sense for you, uh, we'll let you know that. So thank you guys so much for listening. Again, head over to turnkeyproductmanagement.com and fill that out. Thank you guys so much. Bye.